Welcome to Overnight Card Box Busting here at the Priority Mail Collecting Booth. Not sponsored by Priority Mail, but certainly thank you for their uh, backdrop. We're going to open some uh, packs. These are packs of cards that were put together at some point for some reason. We're going to bust into those. We're going to see what else is in here. A uh, box of sports cards. And uh, I'm not sure why these were put together the way they were and or what they are. They're just packed in with all these other individual cards that are in sleeves. These appear to be what year? Tops 2016. And it's the update series. So US 13 is the card number on this first one, which is Sean Manana. So as a pitcher, left-handed pitcher, the Oakland A's. Then we have Will Myers, San Diego Padres, MLB 14 is a card number. And it's a gold embossed, looks like. So Manena is a rookie card. It has an RC right there on it. We'll pull that up there. You can take a look at that right there in the bottom corner. Uh, Jose Labaton, Washington Nationals. Has a uh, gold colored tops on the top, but not the name on the bottom. Next up is Brad Brock. The Baltimore Orioles All-Star Game. Alexi Ramirez. There we go. San Diego Padres shortstop. Derek Law. I must have got a pack or two uh, from one of the holidays and uh, put them into uh, these sleeves. I've got a couple more here to go through. Uh, Tyler Goodell. Philadelphia Phillies outfielder. Alejandro Diaz, New York Mets. Hector Neris, Philadelphia Phillies. Brad Ziegler, Boston Red Sox pitcher. He got an arm. Nolan Ariando. Here we go. I got a pretty good uh, postseason this year. Wow. Let's see here. 2016 Major League All-Star Game. Okay, so he's been around for a little bit. Wow. I'm going to hold on to that one. That's uh, 2016 card US 256. Hold on to him right over there. Denard Spahn, San Francisco Giants. Yarmir Caliandrio, Chicago Cubs rookie card. Ian Kennedy, been around for a little bit. Kansas City Royals. Drew Batera, Kansas City Royals. We have Ryan Braun, TF13, Milwaukee Brewers outfielder. Customize your own batting gloves, all kinds of fun stuff there. Oh, it's from Franklin. That's why. So it's a Franklin. They're advertisements. <laughs> They're putting advertisements inside the card packs. Okay. Interesting. Nice, nice texture on that card. Next up, we have US 221, which is Starling Castro and Didi Gregorius, the New York Yankees. There we go. Jamison Talion, Major League Debut, US 157, the Tops Company. Pittsburgh Pirates. Next up, Kelly Johnson, New York Mets. We have Joey Rickland. U.S. 105. There's Baltimore Orioles. Julio Reyes. U.S. 45 is the card number. And I believe he's in the playoffs this year as well in the World Series. Chris Young with the Boston Red Sox. U.S. 259. And uh, Albert Elmora. Chicago Cubs outfield a rookie card. Do we get two of those? No, I don't know. I'm going to put that guy right over there as well. Let's keep going. Got uh, Jeremy Hellickson, Philadelphia Phillies pitcher. Tyler Naquin, Cleveland Indians. That's card number US117. Looks like he's been around a while. Not a rookie card. Junior Guerrero, Milwaukee Brewers rookie card. We'll put him off to the side. There's some reason he made the news this year. Giovanni Guerrero, Baltimore Orioles, card US-1, 
So update series, that's what US stands for. 184. G-Man Choi, the California Angels. This is rookie card. Card 106, update series. We'll put him over here. Brandon Nimmo. I found Nimmo. 74 is a card number. Uh, Wade Miley. Wade Miley, the left-handed pitcher for the Baltimore Orioles. Card 77. Brady Kale, Kale, Brady Kale, first pitch on April 21st, 2016. After hearing of their inspiring story, the Red Sox reach out to Brady and Landon for their VIP tour of Fenway Park and ceremonial first pitches on April 21st, 2016. Or 2016. The boys had garnered national attention after Landon 8 had been diagnosed with geobalstoma, geobalstoma brain cancer. Brady sought to help his best friend by selling his baseball card collection. His effort raised nearly $8,000 to uh, aid Landon's treatment. That's spectacular. FP4 is the card number. Outstanding. Uh, Miguel Sano, the Minnesota Twins. He had a couple of big years. Not sure what happened to him. 500-20. Home run rank among active players as the 2016 season opened was 316th with 18 annual uh, averages needed through the age of 40 to reach 500. Scarlin Castro, New York Yankees, card 174. Blaine Boyer, Milwaukee Brewers. Brian Shaw of the Cleveland baseball team, back then known as the Indians. Matt Witters, Baltimore Orioles, catcher, card 104. Kirk, I'm not going to try it, <laughs> 263. Nguyen Wizen Here we have Hung So Kim, Baltimore Orioles, card 182. This is rookie card, put him over there. Michael Fulmer, rookie card. And this is rookie debut on it. I wonder if that's a kind of special card, maybe. Uh, 204 Major League debut, five innings pitch, two runs. With pitcher Shane Green headed to the disabled list, Fulmer was summoned from AAA Toledo to make his Major League debut on April 29th, 2016 against Minnesota. In defeating the Twins 92, he was Detroit's first pitcher to win his initial Major League outing since Ken Ryan 19 months earlier. Put him over here. Astros blast off Space City Superstars. Now keep in mind this is 2016. Can you can you hear the trash can lid? Can you hear it? Okay. Uh, card 27. Layer this duo is youthful dyna, dyna, dynamism on top of their <laughs> on top of their top of the scale production. I should, probably shouldn't use the same word back to back like that, but that's okay. And the result is the game's most coveted middle infield pairing. While Korea was winning the 2015 AL Rookie of the Year Award, Altuve was repeating his hits and stolen bases titles. Up next, Shelby Miller, Arizona Diamondbacks. 109 is a card number. Mac Bushman and Tyron Guerrero, rookie combos. Card 147. Michael Conforto. W13. He had a couple good years. Are we still playing? Tyler Jenkins. Card 88. Howie Kendrick. Los Angeles Dodgers. Been around a while. Bud Norris. Los Angeles Dodgers. Carlos Gonzalez. Colorado Rockies. Will Myers. San Diego Padres. Drew Stubbs. Texas Rangers. Cesar Vargas. Rookie card. San Diego Padres, 289 is a card number. Pedro Strop, Chicago Cubs. And Adam Duvall and Jim Moscott. So those are the 2016 cards that are in this box. Let's see what else we have in here. This is some um, uh, 1988 Donruss. 1988 Donruss baseball cards. Cal Ripken Jr., Tim Raines. Earl Hershiser, George Brett, Ricky Henderson, sorry, Wade Boggs, Will Clark, Dale Murphy, Benito Santiago, Lee Smith, Roberto Alomar rookie card, Tony Gwen, 
Another Benito Santiago, Diamond King, Kirby Puckett, MVP. Bob Boone, William McGee, the Ripken family. There's Billy, Cal, and Cal. Ripken baseball family. It's card number 625 of that set. Ozzie Smith and Don Mattingly. I noticed something on the, I believe it was the Alomar card. Here it is. Off cut. You can see, if you look real close, I don't know if it shows up there. But you can see the cut line, and then it's a little bit on top of there. So they must have had some uh, lines for where to cut the sheets of cards, and this one was definitely off cut to the top. Cool. So that one obviously was put together back in 88 or 89 for those guys to be put together in a pack to save some of those guys. So here we have a, another one. It says Nolan Ryan, 5,000 strikeouts on the front. And on the back is a Greg Maddox card. Sometimes when I have card sleeves or with a card show, I would just put them into the uh, pack sleeves like this. Let's see who we got here. Now, Nolan Ryan. There's a Nolan Ryan. This is the 89 upper deck. Team card, card 669, Houston Astros from Nolan Ryan. Roberto Alomar, 1990, upper deck, 346. This one is Cal Ripken Jr., 91, ultra, card 24. There's Ozzy Smith, Stadium Club, 154, 1991. Dan Marino, aerial threats with Mark Clayton, card 34, the upper deck football. Another Ripken, a Reggie Jackson. Number eight of nine of the Reggie Jackson's inserts, the uh, High Series 1990 Upper Deck. Emmett Smith, League Leader. This one from 1992. Card 453, Kirby Puckett. Eddie Murray. Jeff Bagwell. This is a 1992 Studio. Card 31. And Siri thinks I'm asking her questions, but I'm not. Be quiet, Siri. And Greg Maddox, 1989. Up next, we have another pack of 88 Donners. It was open. You can hear the police stop in the distance. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Mark McGuire, Paul Molitor, Ken Griffey Sr., Rafael Palmero, there's Barry Bonds. So Barry Bonds had an 86 update Donners, or Donners for the Rookies. An 87 Donner's card, and now here's the 88. So third, Wade Boggs, Will Clark, Stan Musial. That was the puzzle card in 1988. This is the card to show what the puzzle is supposed to look like, card 641. Billy Ripken, year before the bat incident. Chet Lemon. Not sure why Chet Lemon would make the cut here, but card 215. Chester Earl Lemon. Uh, was a rookie in 83 with the Tigers. So he played 83, 84, 5, 6, and 7 with the Tigers. And uh, he was uh, born February 12th of 55. He was a right, right throw in the uh, bat guy, 6 foot, 190 pounds. Career home runs, 186 at this point. Chet Lemon, maybe he was on fire, had a, had a good spring. Don Mattingly, Bo Jackson, there we go. Bo, uh, baseball rookie, 86, football rookie, 88. Bo with the Kansas City Royals, Ruben Sierra, Tom Glavin, rookie card. There's Glavin, 88. I guess Schmoltz is 89 rookie. 644 is a card number, Thomas Michael Glavin, born in 66. It's a lefty, pretty good pitcher. He's in the Hall of Fame. There's Tom Glavin. Tony Gwynn, Benito Santiago, and Cal Ripken. So I get a little more why that pack was saved than the other one, except for the Chet Lemon. That's pretty interesting. Let's see what else we got here. There, this is the team set from 1991 tops of the Olympic players. And this is from the update set. Jason Giambi on the front. So this would have been saved, and he was really hot back then. Uh, so there's Jason Giambi. Look how thin and tiny and skinny and small. 45T is the card number. Uh, keep in mind that uh, his first ever card produced was produced by the Alaska Gold Panthers, a Fairbanks baseball summer team, and uh, limited production of about 5,000 cards, and many of which were destroyed in a flood in the winter up in Alaska at one point. Kenny Stenstra. Dan Melendez, 
Phil Nevin, how tiny he is. He went on to play in the bigs for a while. Darren Dreifert, great pitcher. Craig Wilson, shortstop. Jeff Granger. Jeff Granger, uh, first round draft choice. I think he was Texas A&M. Yep. Jeff was an all Southwest Conference selection, at Texas A&M in 1991. Set the school record with 121 strikeouts and led the Southwest Conference with 60 strikeouts in league play. Enjoyed a 42-game hitting streak as a senior at Orange Field High School in 1990. He also had a 16-1 record as a pitcher. Jeff was backup quarterback for the Texas A&M Football and Baseball America Freshman All-American. And uh, my youngest son played baseball in junior college with his son. That's pretty darn cool. There's Todd Green. Todd Johnson played for the Alaska Gold Panthers of Fairbanks, and I believe in the Miami Marlins or Florida Marlins system. Steve Rodriguez, Olympic team member and coach at Baylor University, baseball coach. Rick Helling played in the bigs for a while. Ivan Zwig, don't know much about him. Chris Wimmer, Tony Phillips, Jason McDonald. John Detmer, Donnie Leshnuck, Chris Roberts. Here's a kid who played up in Alaska when he was in high school. I believe that's the Chris Roberts that that is. Dave Tuttle, Ron Polk, who's the coach, head coach. At Mississippi State, very cool. Todd Taylor, not the tool man Taylor, that's Tim. Paul Shuey. Jeff Ware pitched for a while in the bigs. Billy McMillian. Charles Johnson, catcher. And Jeffrey Hammonds, both great players, played in the big leagues for a long time. Fantastic. Okay, that's the Olympic set from 1991. Tops traded. Has the T on the back. It's a different kind of paper. A little, uh, I guess, whiter. I don't know if it's glossier. But it uh, doesn't have the brown back like in a normal Tops out of a pack. So that was uh, it's pretty cool. There's anything else interesting in this? Uh, we had this one, which was the all time angels. There's a rod crew on the front. Let's see if I can get this open without damaging it. I don't think it's a oh, look at that. I dropped it. I think it's a full set, but it is who it is. We have rod crew, first base, Sandy Alomar, senior, Jim Fergosi, senior, Jim Fergosi, junior. Played up in Alaska, and I believe he's a special assistant to the general manager of the Kansas City Royals now. Dave Chalk, Leon Wagner, got a bunch of his cards from the 60s. Albie Pearson, Rick Reckert, Bob Rogers, Dean Chance, Clyde Wright, Bob Lee, and Bill Ringley, the manager. Cool. What else we got? Anything else? Oh, there's a few more. What do we got here? We got superstars. Oh, this is neat. Roberto Clemente on the front. But there's some 87 tops and some other stuff in this one. A few more to go through here. Roberto Clemente, superstar, a couple of them. Card number four, card number 39. Must be a Clemente set that was made. That's awesome. There's Clemente's uh, card from 87 Donruss. Another Clemente, another 87 Donruss. Cool. Five uh, Roberto Clemente cards right there. Chuck Finley, rookie. Mike Schmidt, 87. Barry Larkin, rookie. Pete Rose. Roger Clement, 86 All-Star, which was uh, from 87 Tops. Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer. Another Clemens. Another Barry Larkin, rookie. There's no trademark in the corner there. I wonder if there's a variety on his. Both of them have no trademark. Because I know it's 87 had some trademark issues. You can see the TM right there. I don't know if you can see it. Some of them have it, some don't. That one does not. I know I like the Kirby Puckett and the Don Mattingly All-Star cards. There's varieties that have some value. Mike Schmidt, Tom Seaver, Reggie Jackson with the trademark. Seaver does not. Nolan Ryan with the Houston Astros. 1987 Topps baseball card number. 757, Ozzie Smith, 
Roger Clemens, Reggie Jackson again, Tom Seaver again, Gary Carter, Ricky Henderson with a trademark. There's Henderson and Mattingly, Tony La Russa, Kirby Puckett with a trademark, and Don Mattingly with a trademark. Maybe it's the ones without the trademark that have value. It's pretty cool, 1987. Got some Clementi guys. I'm going to leave those out. I'm going to put them somewhere else. Here's another pack. Looks like some football from 2004. How do we get into this one? Where is the opening? All right. Any, oh, there is no opening. Okay. So Jerry Rice, Platinum, football card 54 from 2004. And then let's open these to see what we got here. Rookie card on the front. DJ Williams, Denver Broncos. It's in a sleeve. Bazooka. Topps Bazooka 2004. Cool. Julius Jones, Dallas Cowboys. Card 184. Eli Manning rookie card. Sure to be a Hall of Famer, and uh, certainly rookie. Look at that. It says NFL rookie card, card 200, Eli Manning rookie card with the New York Giants. Two-time Super Bowl champion. Wow. Peerless Price, Atlanta Falcons, Dallas Clark with the Indianapolis Colts. That's the thicker, different colored front. Got the gold in card 112. Bazooka Blast stats of the year. Cool. John Kitna, Cincinnati Bengals. It's a mini card. Curtis Martin, New York Jets. Correll Buckhalter. Michael Bennett, Minnesota Vikings. Michael Bennett. Is that the Texas A&M guy? Uh, nope, 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 nope. I don't know. It doesn't say. Interesting. Will Smith, rookie card. Todd Heap. Reggie Wayne, Indianapolis Colts, another thick one. Lee Suggs, Cleveland Browns, Travis Henry, Kerry Collins, Oakland Raiders, and Donald Driver, the Green Bay Packers. I think the Eli Manning card there that I didn't know I had is probably the find of the box so far. I have no idea what that's worth, but I'm sure it's a few dollars. Card 200, 2004 tops. I have to look that one up. That's uh, that's interesting. Here's some uh, Upper Deck Football. 1991. Come on, come on out. And again, these are just packs that were put away for whatever reason. Pat Swilling, Bobby Humphrey, Bobby Hebert, Mark Collins, Mark Clayton, Dennis Bird, Bruce Armstrong, Eddie Brown, Vaughn Johnson, Sammy Smith, Frank Cornish, Tommy Kane, Mark Murphy, Jackie Slater, pretty good player. I think he's a Hall of Famer. Burke Grossman, Billy Joe Tolliver, Ken Norton, Chris Singleton, Pat Leahy, and Bart Oates. Okay. This is fun. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. There's another little pack. These look like oh, 93 or 94 top stadium club. Yeah, here, Chris Bazio, and then some something else. Anthony Rizzo, Chicago Cubs, card 500 17. Oh, this is more to the six, 2016. So, there we go. Anthony Rizzo, Garcelana Stanton, home run derby champion 2016, Miami Marlins, Paul Goldschmidt, all star game, awesome player, Arizona Diamondbacks. Miguel Cabrera, 500 HR Futures Club. Carl Yastrzemski, 3000 Hit Club. It's a special insert in a special insert set. Mookie Betts, All-Star Game. Aaron Hicks, New York Yankees. Craig Sager, first pitch. Oh, the, the broadcaster. Bryce Harper, what is this? Bryce Harper, Washington Nationals. Bryce Har homered in his first 2016 at-bat and then connected in four consecutive games two weeks later, serving notice that the reigning NL MVP honoree was primed for more destruction. Previous season, he'd taken his game to a new summits with 42 blasts, 118 runs, and a major league leading 1.109 OPS. 
Clayton Kershaw for the Nationals and Edwin Encarnacion. These must be All Star Game cards. Two thirty two. Clayton Kershaw. Cool. This one's got scratches all over the back. Like it's been cut somehow. That's not good. That can't be the design. It's yeah, all kinds of cut marks. Wow. I don't see that in any other card. Of course, that'd be in Clayton Kershaw. Spectacular. All right. Anything else we can look in here other than the actual cards that are already in sleeves? We can do that in another, another video. Let's see if there's any more little packs. Fun things to go through. Here we go. Bill Dickey. What are these? These are some kind of uh, all-time Yankees. All kinds of really strange sets came out in the 70s and 80s. Tony Lazeri, Red Rolf, Red Ruffing, a couple of Reds, Johnny Murphy, and Casey Stengel. All-time Yankees. Must have taken out the mantles and everybody else already. All right. Well, that appears to be, unless that's the Mike Heath, Tom Brookins card. Yeah, we saw one of those in another video. There are Nolan Ariando over here. And anything really cool. Oh, one small little pack, but I don't know if I'm going to open this one. This is still sealed. It's a Star Quest upper deck. Some sort of a insert. Cole Hamels. And on the front is Vladimir Guerrero. That's probably why it's not open. Keep that one sealed. And some Michael Jordan cards. Wow. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan. Lots of Michael Jordans. And anything else? I think that'll be it for this video. Well, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button. Randy Moss. Is that a rookie? Can't be a rookie. No, no, way back. Okay. Uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, share with your friends. Come back and see us often. More baseball cards. This is the I Can't Sleep Tonight Overnight baseball card box busting. Here's another one of those packs. Joe Maurer on the back. 2007, and Lance Berkman on the front. Not sure who's in the middle there. All right, that's it for tonight. That's our show. Uh, we will see you next time on Overnight Card Pack Busting. And uh, I'm not sure that's the real name of it, but let's end the video with a picture of Eli Manning, rookie card, card 200, 2004 tops, our big victory, our big find in tonight's card box busting. Have a good night.